We begin with breaking news out of Southwest Miami Dade. That's where rescue crews pulled two people out of a canal after the helicopter they were in came crashing down. We know one of them did not survive. We first brought you this story a couple of hours ago right here on CBS News Miami and on our stream. Now let's get right out to CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten. He joins us live with the newest details. Ted, what can you tell us? Let's go ahead and get you some video. Yeah, Ellie and Lauren, uh, the police department just had a news conference a few minutes ago or a little while ago. What we've learned is that one person did not survive. Just to give you an idea of where that crash was, if you look back there, that's where you can see there's still a few rescue units that are over in that area. It was in that stretch of the canal where that chopper went down. Now notice you can't see any wreckage. That's because that water there is so deep. Rescue crews on the scene quickly after witnesses reported a chopper going down just west of Miami Executive Airport. At approximately, as I mentioned, 108 in the afternoon, several 911 calls came in of a possible helicopter crash. The witnesses were stating that they saw what appeared to be a helicopter that was spinning and falling. It crashed into a canal. It's so deep, you're not able to see the wreckage from the air. Moments after the crash, witnesses say someone came out of the water. She let them know that someone was still in there. According to witnesses there was a female that came out of the water and that's when the fire rescue personnel the divers went into the water to search for an additional person that perhaps was still inside of the helicopter those divers were able to find the man and pull him from the canal paramedics worked feverishly to save him but he did not make it they were both transported uh, via ground by miami-dade fire rescue to a local hospital unfortunately the male succumbed to his injuries the female is expected to survive. We see that woman on a stretcher on her phone as she was loaded into an ambulance. So at this point, Miami Dade police are investigating the death in this crash. The F NTSB as well as the FAA also on scene to investigate the crash itself. Live in Southwest Miami Dade, Ted Scout, CBS News Miami.